Why, hello everyone, welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe the finale of it, I'm guessing, because the pieces are coming together, you see. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer, and Tails solved this episodes ago, no doubt, on Playframe. Anyway, let's continue. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Oh, I thought you were going to lead us somewhere. You know what? We'll go through the door after we check in with our two buds. Come on, to the conductor's car. I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I have not seen the conductor in a while. Hope he's all right. I'm sure he's fine. Hey, it's the big chow band. Oh, them again. Right. Give us a jam, please. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. And you? Do you feel reawakened? Or spiritual? Either one? I can't believe a secret passage was here this whole time. That would have been very useful. Yeah, the library's closest to the bathroom. It would have been really convenient. <sighs> I see our priorities are different. That's okay. All right. Next car! Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this! It's now or never! Fancy. If a little disorderly. Um, hey. Train, hand, arm? You gonna be doing any cleaning? Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels... empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we left the dining car- or when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Let's do. Just gonna chill, huh? Hey, uh, oh my. Well. I suppose that explains the not cleaning, sort of, except for you. You're not cleaning. Either of these two messes. Boy, where do we even start? Well, the obvious place, I suppose. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue? Uh, you're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but you know, I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. <laughs> Uh, what an arc we've been on. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> and this? Huh, what's this? Was someone playing darts? Hmm, that's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. <gasps> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to your inventory. Um, suppose we should look into this, huh? What? This robot arm's been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm's powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. I'm not done looking around at things. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to the Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. <laughs> that was very sweet in your way. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. What are these? I mean, I know, but what are they for? 
A microphone! We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Um... What'll be more confusing to our passengers? Let's start beatboxing. Dan, why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Dan. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> You're very sweet, Tails. Event. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, the tails. Right. Dan. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, uh, no. Just uh, how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, guys. Hmm. Well, we'll talk to you first. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> I must have done the laughing out loud. <laughs> um, alright. Let's solve this thing. Well, you two? Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Dan? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Hello, everyone. This is Birthday Girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Ah, well, there's everyone. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Dan. Why is Sonic showing up? Oh, right. Dead. Hmm? Good little cute animation using just a little movement and two poses. Very good. Vector. Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready. Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Aspio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Huh. <sighs> Is everyone going to do a little anime grunt now? <clears throat> what in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Oh dear. He, he, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Hmm? Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but not a train mystery, I guess. 
Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. S Sonic. He really was hurt this whole time. And I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Or high-five them, I don't know. Tails, Dan, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Hmm. I wonder. I'm kind of suspecting none of them, honestly. But uh, let's just sort of think for a while. Tails, I think, has been with us the whole time. Like, that would be quite a clever switcheroo if Tails was actually the murderer, but I think being the detective, he can't be. And also, I don't think we've, like, separated at any point. Amy has split off in the past, but, uh, one, I don't remember if the birthday girl slash journalist is allowed to be the murderer. Two, she has seemed pretty surprised about Sonic actually being kind of hurt here. Um, she did, like, she is the one who brought a weapon on the train, though. Oh, no, no, that's right. Tails created a kind of, like, new hammer for her, or whatever. Um, so I'm saying she has the tools. Knuckles? I guess any of the rest of these folks you could probably make an argument for. But I, I feel like one of these two feels like the biggest curveball. Or it's actually probably none of these, but... Amy, I choose you. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Oh, that's right. Here, let me pick again. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? And we're not, we're not still within the space of the game here, Amy. Like, literally, Sonic is hurt a little bit. <laughs> so someone's already kind of bending the rules somewhat. I'm just saying, I don't know if we should stick to only suspecting people who are candidates in our little train game. Hmm. I honestly mostly suspect, I would most believe Sonic coming up here and like fiddling with a control he wasn't supposed to and hurting himself. The saloon car does give you a little bit of a shortcut further up the train though, so Knuckles, what about you? Hmm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh, uh, well, um, when I'm put on the spot like this, it's really hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick somebody else. Who in this room did this? You know, I'm just gonna, I feel like we're just kind of going down the list here because I don't feel like any of these candidates make a lot of sense. That can't be right. Tails or I can't, neither Tails or I can be the murderer. What a vector. Mm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Think, Dan, who was the one suspect Shadow didn't see when he was walking through the train? Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? So who... It's the one person. I guess Blaze wasn't wandering around a whole lot. Blaze? No? I guess Espio is also... Yeah, they didn't see each other, right? Yeah, because Espio was reading, and so it was easy for Espio to not, like, notice somebody else, but also Espio was a little out of the way, so others could have easily not noticed Espio. Also, I think Espio can do chameleon things, and is a ninja. <laughs> Espio, you were the one to merge your Sonic, weren't you? Hmm. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I'd love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. 
However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence. Oh, right, yes. Dan, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? There's a hidden passage. And I feel like Vector would be acting protective regardless. Espio could have left the library at any time, because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car, which makes sense on a train. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits, exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence that I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Dan and I can explain that too. Dan, how did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Um, I mean, these are both stupid answers, but I feel like a poet would really linger and take their time. Ninja, do you read fast also? Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd, memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> These are versions of these characters I'd enjoy hanging out with in Sonic games. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right! How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Dan and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Dan? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh, why are you always putting me on the spot, Fox? You have all the answers. I'm just here for the ride and to offer people food. And because I'm paid to. Right, that part as well. That's another reason why I am here on the train. Hmm. Who would have evidence to prove Espio knew about the Hidden Passage. I don't feel like Vector's lying here. Espio, do you have evidence where, about knowing the Hidden Passage? It makes a lot of sense if you think hard about it. I'm a detective. That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint? They told us we can see something later and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the Hidden Passage? I guess Amy kind of has had some secrets she was sitting on. That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Well, I'll just keep on clicking faces. As much detectiving as I do on this channel, I've never been a detective's assistant before. Clearly. <laughs> I am not fit for the role. Uh, who else here had... Secrets to share later. You seem like one who would. Roosh, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Dan, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Swiped from the conductor, found them before Rouge did. I feel like that's more likely. I don't know why the conductor would be carrying blueprints around. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints, then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Dan and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Dan and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Hmm. There is a dart. And a broken robot hand. 
A blow dart found on the floor in the conductor's car. No dart board anywhere nearby, though. Suspicious. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus your close, Dan. What would Sonic do? I play video games, of course. It's time to think harder than we ever have before. Ow. Doing good. Whoop. Oh boy. Haha! -ha! Victory! Victorious thought! This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. Huh? I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations. Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That is a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Dan and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Um... Hmm. Not as helpful as I'd hoped. Let's see here. I actually don't know, Tails. I guess actually like the robot arms could have moved him. Doesn't really explain why one's broken here, but... That's gonna be good evidence for something, though. The fact that it's a mess in here also feels like it's going to be good evidence for something. Um... Blueprints. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Dan. Thinking hard as I can, trust me. In my way, all right. Alas, big oof on the thoughts. Take two. Boing. Boing again. Whew. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. So many hazards. But I win at thinking! Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Huh? There's... there's a path above the conductor's car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. What? Huh, I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? Huh, the vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here and a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. <laughs> Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. SBO's right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Arms is? Or breaking an arms is to make room? Whew, now to think. Time to think! Yeah. Carefully. Think agile thoughts. Yeah. 
Yeah. So scary. Boing. Yeah. Missing too many rings. Whoo! Cut it a little close there, but. Victory. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. I, do, I feel like we're all kind of skipping over the part where, Espio, you didn't have to shoot a literal blow dart. We're playing a party game for a birthday. What's wrong with you? Where was I? Arms could have got him. Right. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SPO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Hmm. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SPO. Who received that information? You've got to put me on the spot, buddy. I mean, it could be Vector. Hmm, not quite. Someone here received this hot scoop that turned out to be false. Oh, of course. Who was it? Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Hmm. Tails, you're... you're right! Espio lied to me. Espio told me that Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. Uh, no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Hmm. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SBO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? <sighs> and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car, and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. Th when examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it is clear to everyone that it can only have been one person. It was you, SBO! Oh, right, me and what I look like. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! Hey, buddy. Uh, hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery. Espio is the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. SBO left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Huh? Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? N no, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train, but what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Wow, that thing's really putting in some serious, like, reps. <laughs> Generating a lot of electricity. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. 
Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBO. <sighs> SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. <sighs> hey, so stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of that poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Hmm. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <sighs> the situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Hmm. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It was laced with this non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. <laughs> See? What is that? It says use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed at the... Yeah, I just read it, Tails. Come on. Stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed, Staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. <clears throat> Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What's the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Dan, what, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? I think the conductor did it. According to Sonic, the conductor was attacked by the robot arms. I doubt he attacked himself on purpose. And while it could have been an accident, I have a different theory. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. Oh. First we learn the train's a bad Nick and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. Mm hmm Come out and show yourself! Uh, Amy, it's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Oh, dear. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. <laughs> train's a character now. The game says so. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman, after I deliver your annoying party right into his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone, grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa. No, no. I can't keep my footing. Ah, ah! Oh, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Oh, ah, my head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. S Sonic, uh, so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. Seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. 
But for now, are you all right? Why is it? It's weird that Sonic's voice is one of the harder ones for me to like pin down. Maybe it's that he's had several voice actors. I guess they all have, but I don't know why. Sonic's voice is hard to do. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me. I'm definitely not doing amazing. I've not, in many senses of the word, I've been doing quite poorly on this train mystery. My boss has been kidnapped by my workplace. I feel like that probably reflects poorly on me in some way. I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Ah, uh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Goodness, the mystery continues. In here, I thought we were wrapping it up. Well, maybe we can get one more episode out of this. Maybe it's not the finale. There's more mystery to solve on this here train, everyone. Apparently. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for maybe the finale part two. <laughs> Goodbye!